Morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another great day of social studies. Today is April 13th, Monday, and I'm sorry I'm a little late today, but I've got a ton of announcements. It's a short day. It's going to be a short week, mainly because, as you know, all your teachers are posting stuff online today uh, in this whole week and for the rest of the school year, and I just want to make sure I'm not giving you too much work this week, all right? Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm in Google Classroom. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the classwork section and you can see I've posted a new uh, lesson for today. It's called number one for 1320 finishing writing. All right. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty easy day today. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the presentation and I'm going to jump into the uh, d worksheet that you're going to be filling out today. Alrighty, a couple quick things that you'll notice right away is I put a rubric here so you could really understand uh, how you're going to be graded every single day, all right? So uh, I'll go over this in a second. It's the same one that I have on the slides, but I just want to let you know that, yes, I've got a rubric in there, and hopefully that'll help you better know what you need to complete to get a good grade in the class, all right? First things first, if you jump on in, you'll see the first thing we have is a question of the day. Remember, if there's an empty box, that means you have to write something inside, all right? Today's question of the day is, what is your attitude towards school now? Do you find it to have more value or less value, all right? What is that value, all right? Uh, what are some of the things teachers could do to make online learning more valuable to you, all righty? And uh, again, I'm writing here, to uh, you need to write three or more sentences to help you get a four on today's uh, worksheet, all right? Um, then after that, you're gonna go to Google Classroom. You're going to go to the question of the day. You're gonna hit view question, and then you can answer your question right over here, all righty? Um, after you answer the question, please, please, please comment please comment and give a complete response to someone else in the class. Then you're gonna copy and paste your response into the worksheet. So once you give your answer, I'll just write test answer. So you can see, you can see that uh, if you go, you can see classmates answers. You can see some people have already answered this stuff and then you could hit reply and stuff like that and answer some of the questions uh, and give them a good feedback, all right? Uh, cool, go ahead and pause the video and do that and then feel free to come on back. Alrighty, now that you're done with that, uh, I have a ton of announcements, and this is also in the presentation for today. All right, I have a ton of announcements, all right? And then the quizzes activity is gonna be on these announcements. So I'm gonna go over these. If you don't wanna watch the video, you can just uh, skip forward and read the announcements, but I'm gonna just go over them really quick, all right? The first announcement is, as you all know, all teachers are gonna start grading you today. All right, so your teachers are gonna be assigning more work this week, and because of that, I'm gonna to try to reduce the workload this week, all right? And ask for your feedback daily. Your feedback or the surveys that I give you, they're gonna give me a really good idea as to how much or how little work I should give you, all right? So it's really important that you complete those after, right, after you do all of your schoolwork so that I know whether or not I'm giving you too much work, all righty? Um, also, for general classroom activities, we're still gonna have a couple mini projects. We're still gonna have some cool activities to help you learn the material. And I'm gonna try to create these activities in a way to help you gain skills, to help you with whatever your future careers are. Some of these might be individual. Some of these might be collaborative, all right? They're gonna be really cool. I, I'm really excited uh, for what I have planned for you in the coming weeks, all right? Um, you should also know that the uh, daily worksheet, you're getting graded on this scale, all right? So in order to get a four, you need to complete everything and go above and beyond with your answers. You write more than two sentences on every activity and you also respond to others in, with complete thoughts in the discussions, all right? If you wanna get a three, all right, you have to complete every activity in complete sentences, all right, every single activity. Or let's say you're having an emergency at home or you don't understand the material, you gotta contact me, all right? If you contact me and let me know what's going on, that'll help you get to a three right away, all right? You gotta let me know. It's my job, I'm, I'm here. So please, please, please contact me, all right? Uh, and I'll put my email here just in case. LiebermanB at sfusd.edu. All righty, everybody. Um, other than that, if you miss things, right, um, and you don't ask for any help, you're probably gonna get in the two range. And if you miss more than 50% of the work for the day, you'll just get a one. Alrighty. 
Moving on here, um, your History Magazine project. Here's what we have left to do. And we're gonna do this all during this week. You're gonna finish your writing. You have to have an image with a caption. You need to make sure you, ha uh, you have your citations both in the text and your works cited page. Your essay needs to be reviewed by a peer and then it needs to be reviewed by your lead editor before it gets to me, all right? And if you need, you can always make an appointment with me, Mr. Lieberman, for help with your essays, all right? Um, a couple of changes. There are a couple of changes, all right? Remember, these are all the rubrics for the Le the History Magazine project. There are some changes, all right? Uh, if you want to see the entire document, you can click the link here, and it'll take you to the entire document with the History Magazine project. I've already applied these changes here. I'm going to go over the small changes right now, and I think it's a change for your advantage. The biggest change is I took out the deadlines as part of your grade, all righty? So you did not need to hit any of the deadlines from before to still get a four, all right? The only deadline that you need to hit is turning in your project by Friday, all righty? That's the key change here, all right? So let's say you didn't turn in your first paragraph or your second paragraph or your third paragraph on time. That's okay. That's not going to hurt your final grade. That's the big change here, all right? Everything else is pretty much the same. I just wanted to talk really quick about plagiarism, all right? Because I've been noticing some essays are doing this. That's where you use exact phrases or sentences from a source without citing them, right? If you do this, you're gonna get a one on every single category and your parents and guardians will be notified, right? You can still make it up, but you'll have to go through that embarrassment. Please, please, please contact me if you need any help with this. If you're like, Mr. Lieberman, I have a perfect paragraph from my source. How do I put this in my own words? We can totally work on that together. Not a problem, just make an appointment. Alrighty, um, and remember here are the due dates. Your entire article should be finished for peer review, so for editing by tomorrow, April 14th. Alrighty, your image is due with a caption on Thursday, April 16th. Alrighty, and your project should be done and completed by this Friday. Yes, this Friday, all righty? That was a lot of announcements. I wanna see if you were paying attention. Go, to, go ahead and try the quizzes review, all right? Go to joinmyquiz.com, type in the code, make sure you're signed in with your SFUSD Google account. Uh, that way I can give you credit for it. If it's not signed in with your SFUSD Google account, please just send me an email so I can make sure I give you credit for this. Feel free to pause the video and come on back when you're ready. Cool. The rest of the period is dedicated to work on your History Magazine article. Before I go any further, you can see that I put all of these announcements in the worksheet, all righty? Nothing for you to do, just to read it and for you to have all the announcements, all right? Uh, so right now, we just played quizzes, all right? Make sure you've answered this question. Did you play the quiz above until you scored 100%, all right? Just put yes or no, all right? Put yes, please do it, all right? <laughs> um, a couple more things here before we get to the survey really quick. Um, uh, the rest of the period is dedicated to work on your History Magazine article, all right? If you're finished with all the writing, there is a self review. Alrighty. So uh, the survey, I want you to take it after you finish all your classwork. All right. Uh, it's really important after you finish all your classwork. All right. Down here is the self edit. The self edit is optional. And if you do it, you'll get a four for today. If you don't do it, you'll get a three or a three and a half, depending on how your uh, question of the day is answered. Alrighty. The self edit is not that long. It's about seven questions and it requires you to read through your essay to make sure you have a lot of the parts that are usually missing that people usually make mistakes on. All right. So please feel free to complete that self edit. It'll make your essay better so that when somebody else reads your essay tomorrow, they will have a better essay to read. All righty. Other stuff going on here. Like I said, you're going to work on your history magazine project. If you're done, please do this self edit. All right. Um, if you're not finished on, with the writing, please work on the writing. If you need any help, feel free to email me or you can make an appointment with me. All right. We get on a Google Hangout. I show you my screen. I show you your essay. We talk about your essay and we fix it. 99% of them have gone extremely, extremely well. And I also put a link 
for the video on how to cite your sources in case you forgot how to use Citation Machine and cite your sources. Alrighty, uh, pretty much that's it. Take the big sur or take the survey. It's actually really, really short. Uh, it's really, really, really short. Um, it's only about like seven questions. I'm just asking you, where are you in your essay so far? I'm asking you, how was your work compared to your other work in your classes? All based on today's amount of work. Alrighty, that's really important. All right, that's it for today. I know I talked a lot, but it wasn't a big work day for you, all right? Key things to work on your essay and make an appointment with me, all right? Please feel free to make an appointment if you need any help. And the document is here if you're working on your intro or your conclusion paragraphs. To, uh, if you need any help with that, this document can also help you out. Have a great day, everybody. Again, I apologize for the lateness of this video, but it was a lot of stuff and I wanted to make sure I did it all correctly today, all right? Have a great day. Contact me with any questions. Take care and... Talk to you soon. See you tomorrow.